Well, I've been growing onions for 40 years, and some of these are the biggest onions I've ever grown. You have got to see this. Well, first, let me tell you what kind they are. This first, and these are grown in tubs. This is my basically a raised bed garden. These are fiberglass tubs that I got years ago. Can't get any more, don't ask. Um, got them from a business that was throwing them away. Filled them with uh, years and years ago, 10 years ago, more than that. Filled them with potting mix, compost, added to them uh, over the years, wood, wood chips and more compost and just a real pliable soil. And I believe that is the key to growing big onions. Uh, onions that just, they don't have any restriction. You know, when they're trying to get big, they don't have a, a lot of dirt around them that's just hard packed and, and they're, they're having to struggle and push against. And uh, I also plant them very shallow. I've shown you that in other videos. But let me show you what I got. This first one, two, three, four tubs are um, cougar, cougar onions. I raised them from seed, from house tools. First time I've ever raised any onion from seed. and. It's a little more, kind of a little more trouble than it's worth, I think, but maybe not after you see the size of these onions. Uh, that one there, that is a cougar, and it is four and a half inches across. Same with that one, that one, that one. I planted these about six to eight inches apart. Uh, and they have just done phenomenal. From right here, that starts with a called a sweet agent onion. And these have a lot of weeds in them. And as you can see, I've let the weeds kind of go. We just had so much rain. I just, I, I weeded and hand weeded and hand weeded and finally gave up. But uh, these are sweet agent onions. Again, grown from seed from Haas Tools. And from here on out, I think, yeah. From here on out, are, uh, I grew uh, from onion sets that I bought. But look at this sweet agent onion. That is five and a half, right at five and a quarter, five and a half inches. And I'll go ahead and put it. It's a flat onion, but look at the size of that onion. I just, I, I don't think I've ever grown one that big. The ones I grow usually are more rounded, not that flat like that, but still, <laughs> that's just an amazing, amazing onion. That is a sweet agent also. It's about five inches in diameter. And uh, what I used was, uh, when, they, when I first put them out, I used uh, I had some compost on them. I used 20-20-20 water soluble from Haas. I also used some of their nitrogen. Um, well, I'll think of it here in a second and I'll put it on the screen. And use that, I think just one time. And I use that as a side dress. In other words, I just, and what you're saying there is perlite that, uh, from the potting soil I put in here years ago. But basically I just spread that, just side dress these right in the middle and uh, and then kind of, I didn't even scratch it in or anything. I just let the rain wash it in. We were getting huge amounts of rain at the time. And I'm gonna start pulling these and uh, I'll show you my bounty when I get done. But I'll also show you a few as I pull them. These are 1015. This is what I'm normally raised. It's a 1015 white granite onion. And that's soft, uh, a baseball size there, a little bit bigger than baseball that one and that one they're all pretty uniform uh, we've already pulled some with the gaps you see are probably where we've already pulled some I've used some in some uh, pickles that we're uh, canning and also uh, and they just again they were planted shallow you can tell that because most of the onion is above ground uh, if, if you get them too deep, in, in my opinion, and I've talked to some, some shown up onion growers, professional that do that for a living, and they said that uh, you just, you want to plant shallow. 
Uh, you want to get that root in the ground. When you're planting the, the, uh, the set, get the root in the ground at about another quarter inch and just let it make on top of the ground. Let it grow basically on top of the ground. You got to get enough in the ground to where it won't get washed off and uh, blown over and, you know, in a storm, something like that. But uh, I'm going to come through here and pick a few of these and just let you see them. These are the, the uh, Sweet Agent. Again, that one's five, five and a quarter, something like that. Same with that one. And the really, really sweet, all these are, not just the Sweet Agent. Again, my first time to grow those, but the 1015s are really sweet. The 1015s are big. I've got some hidden in all those weeds over there. That's a big onion. That's a, as big around as a softball. It's kind of flat, but it's big around as a softball. Well, let me get in here and pull some of these. I will put them in a basket and then I'm gonna spread them out to dry. I'll show you how to dry them for long-term storage and I'll show you what I got. And I have got a bunch of them. I'm not even sure I got enough space to dry them. So you may be wondering, how do you know when it's time to pull uh, onions? And that's that's what we call it around here. Digging taters, pulling onions, picking corn. So we're pulling onions. Uh, as a general rule, and most, most of these have, but some of these have not. As a general rule, the stalk will fall over and let you know. Sometimes it completely dry out. When they're this shallow, they come out of the ground so easy. Usually when I'm drying them, I like to have the green stalk on it. And when the stalk dries out, that lets me know the onions dried out as a general rule. Well, I had about three bushels. <clears throat> I would say three full bushels. One of them was rounded. And I've still got a few in the, in the basket here, simply because I just ran out of room. Uh, I could put some, I guess, on the bottom, but I've got them separated. Uh, I went ahead and left the stems on these, the stalks on these, because they uh, they were pretty green. They, they had fallen over, but they were pretty green. And, and since I like to leave the stalks on them anyway, I just did. I got them separated because I want to do a taste test for you. And for me, uh, the Cougar Sweet Agent, and then these are the ones I'm familiar with. These are the uh, 1015. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get the camera up there enough to to show you it's a it's about a 30 inch wide uh rabbit hutch about eight feet long and i've got the pile, the top piled up with onions and i'm just afraid it's going to break <laughs> it's it's bending pretty bad bowing in the middle and they're kind of rolling together and i don't like for them to to be together to touch each other but i just i don't have any other choice right now i have got uh, potatoes in the barn drying. I've got garlic in the barn drying and I just didn't have a place to put these but it's we've got more rain coming all week long or chance of it not big rain but chance of rain and I'm just afraid they're gonna get uh, waterlogged. So anyway I've got uh, like I say three bushels. All these on top are the 1015 W which is a white onion. They make a 1015 Y yellow onion but i wanted white i think white store longer white is better uh, for making salsa and stuff like that most everybody that uh, makes salsa real seriously uses white onions and i will say that the onions that were in those big clumps of weeds onions that had a lot of weed pressure on them are the ones that did not get very big they're the ones that got maybe baseball size so weed pressure has a lot to do with it. if you want some big onions you got to keep those weeds full I got some pretty good size one. Can you beat me? <laughs> Give it a try. All right. We're gone.